Oh, good afternoon, Saturday, May 6, 2023. So after the 5-5, five, five, full moon and Scorpio, lunar eclipse, something, 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 something. Quite a bit going on for me that day, energetically, emotionally. But today the sun is out, if you can see the sun. It's about 60 degrees, a light breeze. No bugs yet, and just a little bit allergies they haven't kicked up because it's been raining for <clears throat> for a week been cold and rainy so allergies are done. so today we have stuff we've cleaned out of the ditch and we got some piles here piles there piles there piles there so we're going to clean up these piles put them on the trail for fill and do a couple other things okay we got those spots cleaned up and we'll show you where we put them on the trail. Let's grab a couple more tools. All right, so we talked about this. You can see we started, there's a pile of dirt that belongs here and was not put back there because of time and other constraints, but all this wet spring weather, you can kind of see that that part of the trail is soggy. So we tried putting some dirt over here, with some wood chips on top, but it's still pretty, pretty uh, soggy sink in hard to pull so what has come up I think what we're going to do is we're going to double armor like there's already see that shovel is as far as it goes in because it hits wood right there's uh, we cut trees and we made uh, planks and we laid them in here and then we put the dirt back on top and wood chips over it so there's armoring but yet there's uh, dirt and eventually grass and things will grow on top so it is not uh, you know, slippery and all the other stuff. But my thought is that since this is so low in here, I'm going to do a double, I'm going to put another row, I'm going to cut, there's some trees in the back that have fallen over the winter, but I'm going to put them on a sawmill, cut some uh, planks, and then we're going to lay the planks this way, and then we're going to put a little bit of topsoil on top and some wood chips, and that will raise this up, and then hopefully the water will drain this way, which is what we had originally intended to, that this part of the trail would be higher than over here, and right now it isn't. And I think it calls me to put another set of boards on. I don't know why. It seems like it'd be easier to shovel dirt. But, you know, the trees are here. They seem like they want to have a, be part of a project. Uh, so I'll try to honor that. So this is where we put, put the pile of... Uh, uh, dredge from the the swale out that we're just talking about. We put it here. You can see this is an old tree stump that we did not grind. It was just cut down. The trail actually went on this side of it, way over here, but uh, because of the need to get a wood chipper back here, we had to widen it a bit. So we're going to fill that in with some uh, more dirt that becomes available. And over here, I think we're going to start today. Back when we dug these trenches a year or two ago, uh, for expedience sake, I did try to, uh, as I dug, put stuff in a wheelbarrow and haul it, but it was just like way too wet to be pushing a wheelbarrow, right? And I just was coming off a of pacemaker surgery, so I couldn't use my shoulder much anyway. So but what I did is I made piles. In anticipation of in the future coming back and reclaiming that good topsoil and you know putting it on a trail where we need it so we're gonna make an attempt to clean out one of those piles today a little at a time okay so that pile of dirt is now over there it's seems like it's a lot more than it looks like when it's on the ground so we're gonna put it here because all of this dirt had come out from over here but we have not finished it because we still need to continue down here but this is pretty wet with all the rain so we're going to fill in some of this because it needs it uh, as long as we get the, this elevation up a little bit so that the water will drain sideways it'll go down into there okay we got some more dirt here and that came from that was our first pile and that was our second pile and the third pile, I think I have to get the 
the saw and cut this down low, just a hand saw, and I can get the cart in there. But I got a call, they'd like me to come over and play with the grandkids, so we're gonna wrap it up here for today. Uh, at least for now, maybe I'll be back out later. Okay, so this is the that uh, one little shallow swale trench that we dug. We cleaned this out through here, and we just put a stake here so you can see, and you can see, whoops. Oh shit, just tripped over that, that's not pleasant. So, we got that stake, and let's see how good we are to pick out the other stake down there. Yeah, so just kind of a marker, I don't know if I'm going to paint them, I might put some, uh, some of that red fluorescent tape on it just to mark the stake so no one runs into the stake, but I don't really need people to be uh, being they're aware of just being drawn to this. I just want to, when I need to clean it and maintain it, I want to be able to make sure I can find it again when it gets overgrown. And this tree came down over the, the winter here. Uh, so I'm thinking we're gonna extricate that and use that for some of the planks for the, the, the wet section on the trail.